Hey guys, what's going on there? Just getting ready to get out to the park and uh, test out the Esheen EX2 Mini battery mod. I've got a new battery in this week. 900 milliamp, 7.4 volt, 50C battery. We're gonna be trying that out compared to another battery I previously showed you. This is an 800 milliamp hour, 30C battery. And we're going to be comparing those alongside the 7.4 volt, the 850 milliamp hour, 45C battery. Initial thoughts is compared to the stock one, this one's probably not going to work too well. And I expect to have an early LVC, I believe because the discharge rate is too low at 30C. This other battery though that came in this week with a 50C discharge rate, I think is probably going to be comparable to the stock battery. And while I'm at it, it's going to fire up the scale here. Stock battery weight is, let me just get this out of the way, 54 grams on the stock battery for the EX2 Mini here. The 800 milliamp 30C battery is running at 45 grams, so considerably lighter. And then this 900 milliamp 50C battery is running at 44 grams. So that was 44 grams for the 900, 48 grams. So for the 800 and 55. So actually this battery here, the 900 milliamp battery, the 50C discharge rate is actually the lightest battery of the bunch and the most powerful according to the sticker. Now we'll see how that does when we're out on the field testing it. But to get this ready, here's the new, let me get the scale out of the way here. To get this ready, I have to, uh, I gotta quickly do some mods here. I haven't done any, I just opened the Esheen this morning actually. I had previously shown it to you with the uh, unboxing of the replacement, but I actually never opened and took the drone out. Guys, stay tuned. We'll see you out there. We're going to test these three batteries out. See ya. All right, guys, we got the Ishin EX2 Mini here. We're going to be, uh, here, I'll put that down. We're going to be comparing the three batteries that I have here for it. We've got the stock battery, the 850 uh, milliamp hour 45C battery. We've got the 800 milliamp 30C battery, aftermarket battery there, and we've got a 900 milliamp 50C battery. This one being the lightest, the 900, the second lightest is the 800 milliamp, and the heaviest is the Esheen stock battery. So we're gonna get started. We'll get started with, uh, let's go with the 800 milliamp battery. And here we go, guys. Let's see how the new Ishin works here. We'll be testing the battery. This is 800 milliamp 30C battery. We're on rate one right now. Okay, I'm just gonna get my button set up here. There we go, we're on high speed. That's what I fly at. Nice little park here I'm at today, guys. You can see some miniature donkeys and some miniature horses over there. This is the 800 milliamp 30C battery. Not gonna do anything funky, no. We're not gonna be doing any flips or anything right now. We're just gonna fly whole, full speed the whole time. And there we go. We're not very far into it. Early LVC right there, guys. And I think that will bring it in. I think that's due to the low discharge rate of the battery. The 30C discharge rate is not sufficient enough. Even though the battery feels good, it's still throwing, you know, the drone doesn't feel like it's sluggish at all. And we crashed it. A little crash there, guys. Never hurt anybody. Crashed into the side of the, the dugout. It's all good, no damage. Scared my little guy over there. Okay, so that was the 800 milliamp battery. 
not sure we may have got a couple minutes out of it there so now we're gonna throw in let's throw in the 900 milliamp battery this is the 50c 900 milliamp battery and we're gonna get going on it right now and we're up in the air rate two more punch right away i notice not sure if you can notice that but it is got quite a bit more speed there this time i'll try not to crash it i wasn't really paying attention so if my suspicions are right this one shouldn't get an early lvc but this is the only way we're going to find out i had hopes for that uh, 800 milliamp battery they were cheap I believe I got them on Amazon. I have other uses for them, but I believe this little drone requires minimum that 45C discharge rate. So far, this seems to be going pretty good. Nope. There we go, guys. I was proven wrong. Early LVC. This is a 900 milliamp battery, 50C discharge rate. And we've got about the same amount of time as the 800C, maybe even a little less. So I'm going to call that theory wrong. Now, I can tell you it's not the drone that's doing this because it was doing this with the other one as well. Okay, so early LVC there. That's unfortunate, but... Uh, I had high hopes for that battery. Okay, now we're just gonna plug in the stock battery. Stock battery feels much better than that 900 milliamp 50C. So, I don't know guys, maybe you let me know. I've seen a few aftermarket videos where they've actually been good. And I've seen a few where they've got the early LVC and I was just trying to problem solve there and obviously I'm wrong. That discharge rate meant nothing. So now we're just going to have some fun with the stock battery that we know is going to last quite a bit longer than those ones. And we'll just use this run to test the FPV camera. Let's see how that works. A stock FPV camera that I put on an upward angle. I think I need to even figure out a way to get on more of an upward angle. Let's see if we slow it. Got a bird chasing me there. Got a bird attacking me up. In I do have a bird after me. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna bring it down a bit. Now we're gonna test this FPV on low speed now. And that's much better, not much of a tilt at all. Can fly FPV on low speed at the angle the camera's on, but I think I'm gonna have to modify it even more and get that camera tilting even further up if we're gonna fly FPV on high speed. That bird's after me again. Let's see if I can get that on camera if it comes back. It's always nice when nature hates your toys, huh? There it is. It's a little sparrow or something after me. And you can see we've well surpassed the couple minutes that the aftermarket batteries lasted. And this guy's going good. I never got this much time out of the original one there. There's that bird again. Oh, and you hear that, guys? That is the blueberry fields next to me. It's a propane cannon. They're trying to scare the birds away, so maybe that bird will leave me alone now. So I'll throw it back on low speed and maybe I'm going to bring it in and maybe we'll goggle up for a sec. Yeah, actually, I'll just do a little flight here. I'll do an FPV run on the next, next run I do. We're on low speed right now. Angle angle is pretty good actually we can fly fpv with the angle of the camera on low speed on high speed though it won't happen and i'm just 
doing a cheater FPV right now, but I'm looking at the screen on my remote. I gotta be careful, I got fence over there, I've got these big light posts and the dugout behind me obviously. All right, just keep an eye on the kids as well while trying to fly the drone. It's a fun little bird to drive, fun little bird to fly here. Put it back on high mode. Low's a little too slow for me. And this is a under 250 gram drone, so I don't have the same restrictions as I would with some of the larger drones. I wouldn't be able to fly my uh, heavier drones in this area. As you can hear, there's an airplane nearby and this is a restricted area. Do some flips. So no issues this time. I don't have and the last time my drone just dropped right out of the air, my old Ishin e there. This one, and there we go. There's the LBC this time on this one. So we've got a considerable amount of time there. We got a considerable amount of time there. So we're gonna bring it back in and we'll uh, wrap this one up for the day. I'm gonna try to do a landing pad landing this time. There we go, perfect landing. Alright guys, we're back from having the Ishin e EX2 Mini out there uh, testing out the aftermarket batteries and I was kind of surprised, kind of disappointed that the, the aftermarket batteries didn't didn't hold up. So let's pull the batteries out. These are the ones I just brought back using my uh, LiPo uh, guard bag there for traveling. Um, so yeah, like I said, I was pretty disappointed in the outcome. I, I had some high hopes for this uh, 900 milliamp 7.4 volt 50C battery. And uh, I had previously, te previously tested this one on the original EX2 Mini that I had and I knew it wasn't going to do well, but maybe there was a chance it was, I thought, just because, you know, different drone, maybe something wasn't set up correctly on the original, but that wasn't the case. And uh, yeah, the stock battery performed like it should have. What I want to do here is just check the voltages and maybe that'll give me a clue why we're getting an early LVC. Okay, it's gonna be hard to see because it's kind of on backwards, but 7.64 volts, first cell 3.82, second cell 3.82. So 7.65 it says, but 3.82 and 3.82, okay. So now I'm curious to see, let's see what the 800 milliamp battery is. So 7.65 volts is what the stock battery was reading. And now we're looking at, see now we're, we're running 8.01 volts, four volts per cell basically. So this, and it didn't feel any sluggish, it didn't feel sluggish to me, so there's a reason why. And it's probably something to do with the, the electronics of the drone that it's, uh, I don't know. But there is still plenty of power left in this. And let's check out the 900 milliamp battery. And we got 8.15 volts, 4.08, 4.07 per cell. So both of these create an early LVC. Uh, it was a false low voltage. I don't know why. I'm going to see if I can figure out how to correct that. Um, I may have said in the video that I'm not going to share the links to these batteries, but these batteries actually perform just fine. Um, I'm going to continue. I wasn't going to continue using these, but now that I see what the voltage readout is on them, I'm actually going to continue using both of these. And I think both of these are perfectly uh, acceptable. 
Now, during my test, I did notice this 900 milliamp battery, the 50C did have a bit more power than even the stock battery. I was impressed with, uh, you know, it seemed like a little bit more punch to it. This 800 milliamp 30C battery was pretty much on par with the stock. Maybe a little bit slower, but not that much noticeable. So, yeah, guys, maybe you could leave a comment uh, if you know why the the false LVC is being uh, displayed when I'm using aftermarket batteries. Maybe you have some ideas that I can't think of right now, and um, I'd like to correct it. So, thanks for checking this one out. Make sure you give this video a like, and especially if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And remember, don't be a stranger. We'll see you on the next one. See ya.